Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different today than I usually do, <clears throat> and that is I'm going to give you a kit review of this nice new um, Polar Lights Enterprise NX01 refit kit. Um, I'm not really one that does the uh, reviews very often because um, there are a lot bigger experts out there on these kits than me. But uh, I decided since it's new and I haven't seen any reviews on it yet that I'd throw it out there and uh, maybe help somebody else out there. <clears throat> um, just a side note real quick. I am a big fan of Star Trek. Um, watched all the episodes. I probably own most of the episodes and so forth. But um, I'm not one of the Uber fans and... Uh, what that means is, like, I don't know the combination to Captain Kirk's safe in episode 23 um, or anything like that. I just enjoy the show, watch it, enjoy it, and stuff just like that. So um, there may be some details that I may miss or something like that that I, I can't equate this to that. But um, I just want to show you what the parts look like. All right, so um, this is the box. Uh, really neat artwork. Um, I like what round two or polar lights excuse me is doing these days with these smaller boxes um, in the past uh, the Star Trek came in these big boxes about as big as my desk here and <clears throat> it was just you know a couple bags inside and it was just all air now they've really condensed it and made it a lot nicer looking but it makes for hoarding one stash a lot easier if you have boxes like this than the other ones Anyway, um, from what I understand, um, you've never seen this kit on television. Um, this is a totally new design that was done after the series ended. And the purpose of the design was to kind of bridge the gap um, from the uh, the NX-01 to um, the original series Enterprise. Uh, that was the purpose um, of the kit. <clears throat> Uh, you know, as you guys know, uh, the NX-01 was basically just a saucer section with the nacelles. It didn't have a secondary hull. In this design, they've incorporated the uh, the uh, the secondary hull and uh, a little bit different nacelles, and it gives it more of that original uh, Enterprise look. So you can see the the um, progression that's being made to the uh, to the uh, original series ship. Um. The box, like I said, is nice. It's got the nice coloring that, that all the uh, new Polar Lights boxes have. Um, got pictures of the ship all around. <clears throat> uh, and this is in, uh, it's, one, it's a snap kit. And two, um, it is a uh, 1,000 scale ship. Um, if you ask me, it would go very nicely with the um, the other 1000 scale kit of the NX-01. You have the first generation, second one. I think they look pretty cool together. Um, on the back of the box, um, you can really see from this view how it looks a lot more like the original series Enterprise. It's pretty neat. And it comes with a little, uh, se a little story about the development of the ship um, um, after the series ended. Um, so basically that's it. Let's um, pop the top and we'll look at the parts, okay? Be right back. Okay, as you can see, um, when you pop the top, uh, it's got the box is pretty well filled with parts. Um, no erroneous space that, like I said, in the other older kits, but um, you've got um, one, two, three, four, Five bags of parts. Um, you've got a small decal sheet. You've got the uh, the uh, traditional filler crap, if you ask me, from from the manufacturer. And you've got the decals. So um, let me open the box, open the kits up, spread it out a little bit, and we'll take a look at the parts. Okay guys, for this next piece we're going to be on the wibbly wobbly camera mode um, so we can get, get you close into the parts and so forth. Um, so, you know, bear with the jumpiness. Um, 
This is the instruction sheet. <clears throat> um, typical round two polar lights um, instruction sheet here. Um, starts off, you know, a little picture uh, and some assembly instructions. And then um, basically all the instructions are on one side of the page. Okay. Um, basically, four steps to building this kit. As you can see, uh, you flip it over. And this whole side is painting and decals. Um, actually, gives you a pretty nice reference from what I can see. It looks pretty nice. And um, the colors that they call out for for the ship, um, the light gray here, um, is the uh, overall main color of the ship, which really transforms this ship um, from the original NX-1 which is basically almost a copper meta metallic like color to now the light gray that we're so used to seeing that most of the uh, Enterprise ships were so and then we have the parts <clears throat> um, Again, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but you can, with this kit, um, you can actually make the original NX-01, or you can make the uh, the new refit, the refit one, okay? So, starting with the main body section here, this is the upper section. Let me turn on the light here. There you go. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Um, most of the, it's got some really nice detail in here, um, all recess panel lines in there, I think it looks pretty nice. Obviously it's a new kit, so I'm not seeing a lot of flash on it, but the detail is pretty nice. This is the upper section, lower section here. Again, nice recessed panel lines, really nice crisp detail in this. You've got the uh, hole here for the stand. Very nice looking. Accuracy wise, again, I'm not the uh, uber Star Trek geek, so I can't tell you um, exactly how accurate it is. Um, but hopefully with this you'll be able to get an idea of yourself by yourself and, and what you think. And then when some of the other guys get their hands on a kit, they'll give you a better review. But hopefully this will be good enough for you to decide what you're going to do. <clears throat> More of the parts. It looks like the bridge section there. I'm not sure what these are. Here's your secondary hull. The other parts of the secondary hull. Get in and see if you can get in some of that detail in there. Again, recessed panel lines on it. Yeah, this is your deflector dish right here. You got clear parts here, so I guess if you can, if you wanted to, you can probably light this up. These are for the nacelles, tops of the bridge, and some other windows and, and stuff. <clears throat> this piece over here, this sprue, these are the uh, the parts here that make up the, uh, the sides here of the main, uh, the main saucer. These are the sides. More smaller parts. These don't have that crispness to it as the larger parts do. Uh, sorry about that. I like to say I know what these are, but I don't.
really not impressed with this sheet right here. Kind of, kind of, um, it doesn't, it, like I said before, it doesn't have the crispness. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of soften the, the lines and the features of it, but you know, I can't make out what they are. And then here we got the warp nacelles. <clears throat> A little bit of flash on them there. Let's see if I can't. Uh, see some of the detail in it so you've got your two nacelle housings basically that's all the parts um, over here you've got the uh, the typical round two stand that they give you nowadays I didn't open up you've Pretty much all seen that nowadays, so there's nothing special about that. Um, the next thing to show you is the decals. Um, unlike most of the round two stuff these days, the decal sheets for this is kind of small. There's no Aztec details in this one. Get this so you can do full screen here. Alright. So it gives you some, just the regular basic uh, decals. You notice it gives you the ability to do two different ships. You got the Enterprise, and you've got the Columbia. You can do. Decals are pretty nice. I mean, like I said, there's not a lot of them, but they look pretty nice. They look like they're in register. Kind of hard to say with them on a white backing, so. But they look pretty decent. And that's it for this. Uh, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so that's my first kit review um, of the the uh, Polar Lights Enterprise NX01 refit kit. Um, it's a snap together kit, if I hadn't mentioned that before. You can see that down there. Um, it's the 1 1000 scale, and. Um, with this kit, you can build the original or you can build the new refit with the secondary hull. Um, <clears throat> it seems like a, a fairly straight, simple kit. Um, I think it's going to be a, a, a nice build myself. And it's going to add something that we don't have right now. Um, but if you were to uh, to pair it up with this one over here, which is also a 1 1000 kit, I think it would be a pretty neat display, You know, having the two... Uh, and X brothers together. Um, but anyway, that's it for now. Um, again, I just hope this gives you an idea of what you're getting into if you've seen it and you want to get it. Um, but there's going to be some uh, other guys out there that I'm sure are going to do a much, much better job at, at describing the kit than I have. But uh, like I said, at least this will give you an idea of what's out there. Uh, until next time, guys, be strong.